welcome everyone to the instructor's channel. Here we are again for our weekly video. Today we are diving into the art of evaluation and we will be discussing the purpose of evaluation itself. But before we begin, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you've already done that, amazing! You won't be missing any of the upcoming content. But now let's get started with the purposes or reasons for evaluation. When evaluating, it is important that it is in an authentic way. So you need to know what the objectives are for the program and what you will be using as an evidence for the learner's improvement, that is, the criteria you will be using. When you hear someone talking about evaluation or tests, most of them have negative connotations, and this is especially around the issue of power, so that teachers know what's going on, what's going to be that test, while the students have to guess how to shape what they know to fit the teacher's frameworks. So, in fact, you see that the teacher is the controller of the knowledge and the student may have a different view of what is important. So, probably if our students know exactly why we are testing them, why we are evaluating them, it will dissipate those negative connotations. Reason number one, comparison. Yes, it's exactly that, to compare the actual learner's performance to the goals of the instruction. Reason number two, help. To help learners make decisions about their next actions. Do they need to study differently? Do they need to practice more? Reason number three, monitoring. To monitor your learner's progress. Reason number four, assessment. On the one hand, you want to assess your teaching methods. Are they okay? Are we getting the results we need? And to assess the learner's background knowledge. Reason number five, revision. You may need to revise that program. Reason number six, information. To provide information for all the stakeholders, directors, other teachers, parents, you name it. Reason number seven, discovery, to determine the learner's satisfaction. And finally, reason number eight, development, to develop self-assessment in your learners. When carrying out evaluation, we must bear in mind that any complete evaluation requires the use of multiple methods with multiple samplings multiple input from the stakeholders across multiple dimensions of the learning experience at multiple times and in multiple contexts. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave your comments and suggestions for future topics below. We'll answer to each of you. See you next week. And in the meantime, we'll leave you with two other videos that you may consider watching as well. Happy training, instructors!